Hello, new No, this is not really even a video. This is just a quick tutorial for one of those super specific things that I expect to find online within three seconds, but somehow I can. So we're going to be making a Game Maker Studio shader. A Rain. Shader. It's part one out of ten. This is the shader code. Copy and paste it. Done. Part two, two ten. Implementing it for noobs. So we're gonna be opening Game Maker Studio tool. Once everything is loaded, we're gonna press new and Game Maker language. We're gonna give it a fitting name. Now the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna create a new shader. And we're gonna leave this as it is, and we're gonna go into the fragment shader. So we're gonna create a function called Randolph. <laughs> and it's gonna have an input of whatever coordinate and it's gonna return fract and we're just gonna type some totally random stuff in here okay so this line of code basically turns randolph here into a f***ing psychopath <laughs> Or, you know, you could think of him as one of those cool farm machines that you wouldn't want to let your kids play with. So Randolph here is going to take a vector 2 and completely slaughter it into something unrecognizable. So then we head into the main section and we're going to add a new float called Grain. It's going to be set to Randolph and we're going to input a vector 2. Because it's asking for a vector 2 here. So we're just going to put in the VTEX chord, who cares? It doesn't really matter what you put in because Randolph is going to go completely ham on it anyways. Then to keep things a little bit more manageable, I'd like to change this to a new vector for called color. All we basically have to do is color plus is grain. But we just want to add it to the RGB channels because we don't want to manipulate the alpha channel. We just want that to stay the same with whatever the input was. So if you know a little bit about shaders, this is going to manipulate every single pixel. And we're just going to add a random value to every pixel in order to achieve the grain effect. And now we are going to create a new object. And the first thing you do when you create a new object is you create a beautiful sprite. I am satisfied. So this is gonna be our whatever uh, Spramona Okay, anyway, so now we're gonna go into the draw event and we say draw self and shader set shader zero. Shader reset. And we're gonna play the game, see what happened. Yeah, so <laughs> this is our picture with the grain texture on it, but we're not done yet. We want to be able to animate the grain because um, chances are that's what you wanted. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to add uniforms to our shader. So we're going to use this variable to do the evolution for the grain texture. And this is just, yeah, just the intensity of the grain so you can make it lighter or heavier. We're gonna add the grain time to the input for Randolph so he's gonna have more to destroy. We're gonna multiply Randolph with grain intensity. Okay, so we're now we're gonna head back into our object. Let's get into the drive and we're gonna add the uniforms. So we get the uniforms so that we can manipulate these two. So just to test it out, I'm going to put in this built-in function that keeps increasing over time. Actually, okay, so let's add grain intensity here and we're going to put it to 
when I'm not pressing space, it's gonna be one, and when I'm pressing space, it's gonna be zero. So whenever I'm pressing space, it will look like we're bypassing the shader so that we can see what it's doing exactly. So as you can see, it's going crazy. Randolph's going completely nuts on every pixel. And when I'm pressing space, nothing's happening anymore. Um, I don't really like these lines. I think it's too big of a value. Yeah, there's there's no reason to make this number this big anyway, so... There we go, that looks a lot better. Yeah. Now one thing that I really want to do is make the animation go slower. So I'm going to add a new variable called grain frame, and it's gonna be... Now you can do whatever you want to make this increase slower. So I want to have a couple of grain frames that the shader is picking from. It's going to have five variations and it's going to interchange between those frames with a speed of 0 0.04, whatever that means. So I'm just going to round up whatever numbers inside this one and then not make it exceed the variations. And we can see it's changing slower now, which is exactly what we wanted, but maybe I want it even slower. Yeah, I kind of like this. So, yeah, there you have it. We have a Game Maker Studio Noise Shader. Yeah! yeah. Did I record? Okay, cool. <laughs> Okay, and we have a Game Maker Studio shader, yay! It's online, you can find it easily now, so, um, you're welcome. I got gotcha, you, boy, I got gotcha. you. I got your boy.